Alexandre Millerand was a French politician. He was Prime Minister of France the 20th of January to the 23rd of September 1920 and President of France from the 23rd of September 1920 to the 11th of June 1924. His participation in Waldeck Rousseau's cabinet at the start of the 20th century. Alongside the Marquis de Gallifet who had directed the repression of the 1871 Paris Commune, sparked a debate in the French section of the Workers' International and in the Second International about the participation of socialists in bourgeois governments. Biography Early activism born in Paris, he was educated for the bar and made his reputation by his defense, in company with Georges Laguerre, of Ernest Roche and Duc Quercy, the instigators of the strike at Decazeville in 1883. He then took Laguerre's place on Georges Clemenceau's paper, La Justice. He was elected to the Chamber of Deputies for the saint Departement in 1885 as a radical socialist. He was associated with Clemenceau and Camille Pelletan as an arbitrator in the Carmo strike. He had long had the ear of the chamber in matters of social legislation, and after the Panama scandals had discredited so many politicians his influence grew. As member of the executive he was chief of the independent socialist faction, a group which then mustered 60 members and edited until 1896 their organ in the press, La Petite République. His program included the collective ownership of the means of production and the International Association of Labour, but, when in June 1899 he entered Pierre Waldeck Rousseau's cabinet of Republican Defence as Minister of Commerce, he limited himself to practical reforms, devoting his attention to the improvement of the mercantile marine, to the development of trade, of technical education, of the postal system, and to the amelioration of the conditions of labor. Labor questions were entrusted to a separate department, the Direction du Travail, and the Pension and Insurance Office was also raised to the status of a direction. As Labour Minister, Millerand was responsible for the introduction of a wide range of reforms, including the reduction in the maximum workday from 11 to 10 hours in 1904, the introduction of an 8-hour workday for postal employees, the prescribing of maximum hours and minimum wages for all work undertaken by public authorities, the bringing of workers' representatives into the Conseil Supérieur de Travail, the establishment of arbitration tribunals and inspectors of labor, and the creation of a labor section inside his Ministry of Commerce to tackle the problem of social insurance. The introduction of trade union representatives on the Supreme Labor Council, the organization of local labor councils, and the instructions to factory inspectors to put themselves in communication with the councils of the trade unions, were valuable concessions to labor, and he further secured the rigorous application of earlier laws devised for the protection of the working class. His name was especially associated with a project for the establishment of old age pensions, which became law in 1905. In 1898, he became editor of La Lanterne. He had not joined his independent socialist colleague Jean Jaillors in forming the Parti Socialiste de France in 1902, instead forming the small independent socialist party in 1907 which became Republican Socialist Party in 1911. His influence with the far left had already declined for it was said that his departure from the true Marxist tradition had disintegrated the movement. He continued to move to the right, being appointed prime minister by the conservative president Paul Deschanel. During his time as prime minister, a decree of February 1920 introduced the eight-hour day for seamen. Presidency in later years when Deschanel had to resign later that year due to his mental disorder. Millerand emerged as a compromise candidate for president between the Bloc National and the remnants of the Bloc des Gauches. Millerand appointed Georges Ligue, a politician with a long career of ministerial office, as prime minister and attempted to strengthen the executive powers of the presidency. 
This move was resisted in the Chamber of Deputies and the French Senate, and Millerand was forced to appoint a stronger figure, Aristide Briand. However, Millerand dismissed Briand after just a year, and appointed the conservative Republican Raymond Poincaré. Millerand was accused of favoring conservatives in spite of the traditional neutrality of French presidents and the composition of the legislature. On 14 July 1922, Millerand escaped an assassination attempt by Gustave Bouvet, a young French anarchist. Two years later, Millerand resigned in the face of growing conflict between the elected legislature and the office of the president. Following the victory of the Cartel des Gauches, Gaston Daumerg, who was the president of the Senate at the time, was chosen to replace Millerand. Alexandra Millerand died in 1943 at Versailles, and was interred in the Parsi Cemetery. Millerand's Ministry, 20 January 1920-24 September 1920. Alexandra Millerand, President of the Council and Minister of Foreign Affairs. André Joseph Lefebvre, Minister of War. Théodore Stieg, Minister of the Interior. Frédéric François Marcel, Minister of Finance. Paul Jourdain, Minister of Labour. Gustave Lopitiao, Minister of Justice. Adolf Landry, Minister of Marine. André Honorat, Minister of Public Instruction and Fine Arts. André Maginot, Minister of War Pensions, Grants, and Allowances. Joseph Ricard, Minister of Agriculture. Albert Sarout, Minister of Colonies. Yves Latroca, Minister of Public Works. August Isaac, Minister of Commerce and Industry. Emile Logia, Minister of Liberated Regions. Gallery. Jean Millerand, N.E. Acute Jean Levea. Alexandra Millerand at the Expo 1900 in Paris. Alexandra Millerand as Minister of War, 1914. Alexandra Millerand as President of the Republic, 1920.